Welcome everyone to One Problem, Five Solutions, Fizz Buzz Edition. This video is heavily inspired by what Connor Huxford does on Code Report by comparing solutions on multiple programming languages. So if you liked this video, go check Connor's work. Before comparisons, let's have a context of the problem. Given a positive integer a, return an array of strings with all the integers from 1 to n. But for multiples of 3, the array should have this instead of the number. For the multiples of 5, the array should have bus instead of the number. For numbers which are multiple of 3 and 5, the array should have this bus instead of the number. The first solution is the Python solution. I really like the way Python code was structured, and it's super nice that Python has a range function instead of the typical for loop for C-like solutions. Uh, but I have to say that the only point I dislike is the lack of immutability in a typical C-like solution by just reassigning the final variable. Uh, I know an immutable solution is possible in Python, but it doesn't feel natural in some way. JavaScript follows the same resolution logic here, but unfortunately JavaScript doesn't have a range function and I had to push elements from a for loop, turn it even less immutable than the Python solution. The Elixir solution comes next. I really like Alexa, and it's nice that we got an immutable solution in such a natural way. Uh, the start function seems concise, and it's just one liner by just using pipes. Uh, besides having to declare a module, I really like the Elixir solution. The Haskell solution. Haskell is my favorite language, so certainly I'm biased, but I love how concise and expressive programmers are written in Haskell, in, and it's, the solution is just immutable and natural. Now it's the VLANG's turn. V is a new language, but with a lot of potential. I liked a lot that I was able to perform immutability in such a natural way, in a language more Go-like than a functional language. As I said, V has a lot of potential. Uh, now it's the time for ranking the solutions. Uh, as I mentioned, I love how programs in Haskell are structured, so the first place is for Haskell. The second place goes to V. I'm really impressed by V's potential, and it's a well-deserved place. Third place is for Elixir, a language I really like, and the solution was immutable naturally. Fourth place comes Python. The range function is really interesting, but the lack of immutability put Python on fourth place. And the last place goes to JavaScript. It's the last immutable solution, where I had to use a for loop to fill the output, so this problem didn't put JavaScript on an advantage. Thank you for watching, there will be more stuff on the description. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. See ya, bye bye.